All right, here we are back at the Geekery again for the losers finals of the store championship on November 20th, 2016. On the left, we have Chris D playing his Val again. And on the right, it's still IG, but it's being played by Jason, who's here right now. Hey, everybody. Yeah, both me and Kenny brought uh, this IG deck. We have a few cards different, but um, shout outs to Chris. Chris Hanks, who's no longer in New York, but you know, we both represented. He still counts as Team New York. Because he's apparently not playing Netrunner with any people out there in the West. Right. We have a, actually a virtual meetup that we, uh, we play with Chris still. So Not bad. He's, he, gets some, he gets some Netrunner practice. His decks are always great. Do you remember what happened during this game? Uh, I murder him. Okay. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's complaining about what happened versus Kenny, and I'm thinking to myself, "Yes, that's exactly what I want to hear." It's interesting that he, you know Kenny was able to play IG twice in a row. He's running even though only a four-person elimination. Right. Right. People are getting to repeat their their uh, their sides. For sure. Yeah. Um, I actually think it's really good for. Kenny that he got the two IGs out of the way because I think his IG is extremely disfavored versus me. Um, and it's the same on the other side. So. The game is starting. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a much slower player than Kenny, so... This, if, game, this game won't be five minutes long. This game won't be five minutes long. Even, even if I could kill him in five minutes, I don't think... I don't think I, I'm capable of playing at that speed. Here we go. I have to mulligan. I was mulliganing all day. Did you hand that bad? Yeah. It's not, it's not I mean, what, what's a bad hand for IG? I mean, pretty much the deck is nothing but... Yeah. Well, you, you you don't have that many agendas. So if you draw foods and 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 uh, the future perfects, you know, you're not going to keep it. Um, I think I complained to Kenny when I played him in Swiss that he loves drawing shocks and I don't love drawing shocks. I I don't think I draw shocks in this game either. I think I I actually mention it. I guess drawing a shock is okay if you have Howard, right? Because then you can dump it. No, no, you want to draw shocks. So he's lucky in that he draws them, and I'm unlucky in that I don't draw them. And so uh. they can run archives with impunity, right? Mm. I have to. So hopefully I'm going to do this as well. In your opening hand against this deck, you need no, you you need a good hand. You need either um, you need hostile infrastructure, or you need a piece of ice on HQ. Because if you get siphon for five, you are in a really bad place. So here we go. Here's the start of the game. Uh, Chris kept. I actually don't see a siphon in his hand. Did you see a siphon in his hand? I can't see his hand right now. All right. But I'm deathly afraid of siphon. And so, as you can see, I, I have to think about what I'm doing. I have to think very hard. I don't want to get siphoned. I install a card. I, I, I think I don't even have ice at this point. Yeah, I don't. I just draw cards. Install something. I hope that's a hostile infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll remember very soon. All right. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do this to me. Man, people were injecting all day, and they were getting sick injects. Yeah. That one was average, but... It's fine. Credits yeah. are good. But, I mean, I saw one... I, I kept seeing ones that were, like, draw four, and it's like, Diesel is draw three, <laughs> right? right? And Inject is, like, for is draw four. <laughs> it's like, come on. Uh, see, he's he's mad. He's mad because he doesn't have Siphon. And I'm, I'm so happy. I think I'm, like... Um, oh, uh, he don't, he my lucky he, stars. He knows he doesn't need David. He's throwing it out. Yeah. yeah. He injected. Again, like, whatever. All right, here we go. Keep drawing. Hostile infrastructure or ice. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, day job is actually very dangerous versus deck, as you saw in the last game. Um, 
losing your entire turn against IG means they can advance their board state very quickly. And uh, ooh, ooh. yeah, so I, I, I give him a food. That's fine. Oh, you, you discarded a hero to prevent. Yeah, I don't want him taking the hero. No, he's trying to clean everything up. Yep. There's the hostel. So I, I finally do draw the hostel. Wait, so you weren't able to res it, though. Well, I don't want to res it. I mean, he's clearly shown me that he he's not siphoning. He doesn't have the siphon, right? Mm -hmm. Or else he would have siphoned me. He's trashing my stuff. Good. Trashing it. That's probably why this game's taken. Yeah, that... Some time. That, um... I don't use the Jackson Howard because the Jackson Howard is actually more useful on the board for me than the food. I'm willing to feed him the food if I get to keep the Jackson Howard. And he had to spend the click running the Jackson Howard. I think I had Jackson Howard in hand as well. Mm. So... Yeah, um, th th that's the second Jackson. I think, right, so it's important. It's important for me to tax him as much as I can. Tax him credits, tax him cards, tax him clicks. Yeah, the clicks is really the problem, right? It's like even if you somehow made a zillion credits, you can still only trash three, four things a turn because you have to click each time to right. check each one. Yep, exactly. And I'm you know and dumping no more cards in the nobody, archives. Nobody runs doppelganger or any kind of card like that that would help, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he's still digging for Siphon. He's mad. He's mad and angry. So you're just, you're, just yeah, really, you're um, just really getting away with it, right? With the, well, I mean, again, this is Jackson. Ha I, like I said before, that first tech startup generally is for Jackson. Jackson is, is, mm -hmm. is everything yeah. in, in, in this deck. So he's got, he's got his, uh, his medium there. He's looking at the front of his hand. Right. And so here, I ice archives instead of icing HQ. I believe... You want to keep the face down cards, right? So that No, I, I believe it's because I have... Oh, I have Sensi. Ooh. I think that face down card is probably something I can I can dodge um I can dodge siphon with but he hasn't he hasn't shown me a siphon and he's he's still drawing so whatever uh <laughs> sensi firing really good for me yep um probably putting agendas back in the bottom of my deck so you know he was probably so you can tell by his hand he's looking to medium this turn but now he can't he's got to get rid of that sensi right but you got what four face down cards in the archives yeah. I think I it's uh this is again good thing about dice I do this with with when I when I was at Worlds I I used the uh, tokens as well but you know it's good for me to know it's good for them to know yeah. how many cards I have in archives I'm not I'm not a fan of the dice for credits but using it for the cards in archives is really good right yeah. not having to count constantly or constantly ask all the time right it makes the game go faster especially if you got a slower deck right anything that can speed up the game is good yeah so here I finally ice HQ. And also, and th these elimination rounds are shorter, right? You want to avoid going to time. Yeah, and uh, I'm installing things. So um, I don't care about putting more cards in archives. Um, I think I think about whether I want to pull anything out of here. Obviously, I don't want to pull too many things out. Because yeah, you want to leave the face down ones if you can. Oh, right. but you didn't. You yeah. And then I, I must have been flooded. Yeah, so that's that's a pretty pretty big win for him. Since he's still there, he's not. He's got to get rid of that. Right. Oh, because now that he's made you. Yep. Now the cost is much less. Tech startup, gone. Gone. I really want that tech startup. Well, I don't know. You're not gonna He's got paper clips. It's a very realistic tech startup. It just goes out of business. Right. Another, Another sensei. sensei. Nice. Yeah. I love How many credits does he have? Eight? <laughs> he's, he's, he's steaming now. He's yeah. real steaming. The thing is, that bad pub actually, you know, if he makes three runs like that, could actually, you know, be as good as yeah, Wizard, right? And, and right, Sensei serves so many roles. Let's me put agendas at the bottom of my deck. Draws me cards so I can bin them. Yeah. So even if I like install a bunch of cards, whatever. I'm still drawing cards. I love it. I love drawing. Drawing's my favorite. Well, I mean, that's the big problem of all the horizontal decks, right? Is that you want on your turn, you just, because resing doesn't cost any clicks, right? You just want to go install, install, install every turn. Right. But you can't do that because you only draw one card a turn if you spend three clicks installing. Even if you have Howard, you're getting. You have to spend the click to draw two. 
Since he lets you draw a fistful of cards for no clicks whatsoever, and you can just keep install, 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 install every turn, turn after turn. And the runner, you know, if they spend every turn going trash, 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 <laughs> they're not spending any clicks to get money. <laughs> yeah, so I, I install some more. Um, he trashes some, some more. Money. He trashes some more. His money's down to six credits. There we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Sagafield. Force, force the Sagafield. Finally. So here, I'm okay with him running. I mean, Chris, Chris has always been... Um, and this is where knowing the other player comes into play. Um, he's very aggressive in, in running her remotes. So um, while it would have been nice to install stuff in archives and make him pay for it. Oh, I lose this side. Wait, did I win the side game? No, I lost. No. I lost it. I'm mad. Now I'm steamed. Ronan. Ronan. So a lot of times you hit him with that. I put it in the middle. So hopefully he hits it during the middle. And so if either of the two cards stays on the board, it's a huge win for me. So you just assume he's going to run from left to right? He's not going to... Right, le it doesn't matter which way he runs. Oh, I, I put it in the middle, right? Uh, I can't he could run middle first. There's no rule. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be perfect. <laughs> if he runs middle last, then then I would be I would be raised. Mm. I would not be happy. Oh, I see. Because if the psychic field happens, he's drawing. Right. Right. Yeah. A he's not gonna run something else that could be a shock game over. Or uh, agenda. Yeah. Or feed AI game over. Right. But if he. Hits the psychic field hits him and the Ronin is still on the table. He can't draw up enough to survive the Ronin. Right, and it's just game over. Yeah, and the other one's bioethics, and I'm fine with forcing him, hitting him one for with bioethics yeah. as well. I guess I'm so the other game, right? We had the feedback filter that changed everything, but this that's not the case here. Right, right? he just needs to, he needs to have <laughs> a lot of cards in hand. It gets real dangerous. Right. Yep. So here again, I'm installing things. Drawing. I'm surprised he still even has the four credits, right? Well, he's, again, trashed, he's trashed a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's I haven't. Real, that's some really efficient trashing. I haven't been putting stuff in the archives. Uh, I actually get get some money. So I I have that hedge fund um, right, in my hand a, for a, a long hedge time. Fund, right. So I don't play it unless I know I can dodge siphon. Mm. And so um, I used to do that in Wayland. I would keep a beanstalk in my hand. Right. In case someone vamp me or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here, I know I can dodge siphon, yeah. and so I can play it. And now, you know, there's there's a world of possibilities. So I can start advancing things. I, I was, remember one game super long ago, like Genesis Cycle game, where the runner was tagged, and they knew I had Scorch, and they didn't have a lot of cards in their hand. But they're like, you can't kill me. You got, like, one credit. And I was like, Archive Memories, Beanstalk, Scorch, game over. New York City, if anyone comes down to New York City, and please do, we're a very uh, welcoming community. Um, flatline is everywhere. <laughs> Everyone wants to flatline you. You see a deck, and you're like, oh, Shipment from Sansan. San. It's like a fast advance deck? There's, no, there's, there's probably still a scor yeah, Scorch in there. <laughs> still a Scorch somewhere. Um, there's a lot of decks where like they'll just toss in one boom, because you never know what'll happen. Right? <laughs> they could be playing pure psychographics and they're just like, I got a couple spare influence, one boom. It'll yeah. happen. You know, and then one day that'll, you know. And Boom Sun is popular here as well. Um, people don't like Blue Sun, but hey, sometimes you can't argue with the results. Uh, oh, take a look at cards. He gets a draw card. So good. More injecting. Obelisk. Why is there another inject like hanging out there? Oh, oh here comes. Here oh, comes. Oh, 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 what an inject. Oh, my God. See, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> His inject, that's just so wrong. At least you get to see it, but it doesn't matter if you see it. It's right. like, okay. Well, no, sometimes seeing it is even worse. Sometimes you'll be like, oh, here comes the siphon. Yeah. All right, so you have the five credits, and right. you have an ice you can res, and you got three face downs you can res. So. I think I have seven credits. So I'm uh, thinking about what oh, I want to do. Yeah, I have seven yeah. credits. You can definitely avoid. Yeah. So uh, crick. Oh, so oh, good. Oh, that's a really good, good one. All right. I think I pull. A, I think I pull. A, what's it called? That something from the expensive. Yeah. yeah. I pull my. Uh, that's a good move. Bam. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Dodging, dodging for days. Yeah. Do you want to take my two credits? And he, he does. does. I guess he doesn't have a lot of... Well, no, 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 no. Bringing me down to zero has a lot of value, right? right. Because now I, I definitely can't kill him. Even two is dangerous. Yep.
And again, and that's him four. Four is not not trivial. Well, he's got the two tags though, right? So, but I guess no you, tags. He wants tags. He wants tags. Oh, what does he want the tags for? Obelisk. Oh, is that how that works? Yes. Uh, Obelisk says you can draw the number of cards as the number like extra cards. Your hand size I thought increases. It was, I thought it was the number of cards you access in archives or something like that. That's why people play it with the Hades shard, right? No, it's it's <laughs> HQ on a run on HQ and R and D. Mm -hmm. The number of cards you access is the number of cards you draw. Right. So the reason why you need Hades is because... You can access every card in archives and draw a million cards. Right. During a run on R&D or HQ. Yeah. So the the specific text is that you need to be a run on R&D and HQ. But you also hold that many cards. That's like the secondary ability. So it's really good because you can go tag me against kill decks, but also hold like... 50 million cards in your hand. That's just, Anarch needed another way to not die. <laughs> Last street. Well, see, that's the thing. Worse. I was saying, in the original core set, right, that was, uh, that was like the weakness of Anarch, was that they did not have the anti-death protection, right? It's like right. Criminal had tag removal and avoidance, yep. and the Shaper had the net damage protection, and the Anarch just had nothing. Like Oh, I just hit him with Cortex Lock. That's great. I'm oh, that's why he was throwing out all those yeah. cards. But it, it looked like he had worse, though. He did. But he could only draw two. Yeah, because I have the genetic right. civilian. So he had, I, think so he had, I think he had worse twice, but couldn't actually have much worse. All yeah. the mediums are gone. Uh, there really was that turn movie. earlier where he was like, looking at that medium so longingly, yep. and now the medium's just in the trash. Yep. Nah, he's got trash. I think he can get them this back. This is really terrible, Fritz. Uh, this is really terrible. Think about what just happened. He, he, I hit two I've had worses. And you can only draw two cards off of them. Like, what? this is possibly the worst case scenario for him. Although, again, I can't kill him because he siphoned me to zero. So that is that is still very important. And he has two tags. I could credit credit trash is the same old thing. That's probably a terrible idea. Well, you lose your whole turn doing that, right? Yeah, and uh, it's it's like clearing virus counters. You can't, and with a lot less effect. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, what I really want to do is take. Uh, maybe I don't even care about taking two credits. I just want to advance my board state. Be like, you want to run some more shocks yeah. and stuff. Would it be worth it to run a card that's like no res and gives you money? So that way, like, there's no slots for it, right? But. No, you don't yeah. want money. You only want two credits. No, but I'm saying in those situations we have zero credits. You can go from zero to two, right? Just you can like, go from Whoop. zero to two by clicking two. <laughs> right, but you lose two clicks. You can kill them that turn instead of having to take two and wait oh, to the next. Oh, I see what you're thing. saying. Right. Uh, like a single singleton uh, beanstalk, or yeah, you, there's nothing you can res. The, there is the stupid mental right. health thing, but that l increases their hand size. You can't do that. Right, that's yeah, the opposite of killing. You definitely can't do that. That's the that's anti killing. Well, no, no, no. I guess you can. I guess you can. Oh, you just don't res it unless you. It's that turn where you get. Right. But I think that's a bad. That's not yeah, a good use of terrible. a uh, for a whole card slot <laughs> no, for that one terrible. scenario. That's pretty funny. You, if you're worried about siphon, you're better off getting like a Chrisium grid or something. Than right. that. Yeah. All right. So you're playing the game. This would put him at five points, this which is kind of a big deal. Points. But you won the game. It did. So, but oh, but there was the turn you had zero money. He could have just taken that, but now you have money again. Yeah, I took two credits. Yeah, and he played this. He did the smart thing. Betting zero ensures that he doesn't die. Mm. Again, right? It's like the whole. I need two credits to kill him. And again, he can only draw two cards. Wait, oh, he he trashes the genetics pavilion. Yeah, trashing genetics pavilion is so important. Mm. And that's why there's two in this deck. It's so good. The original, the original IG also didn't have genetics pavilion. Genetics pavilion was a was an ad that we made. Yeah, like, genetics pavilion at first, when it first appeared, seemed like a, like oh man, that's sick. But is it really gonna work the way we think it's gonna work? But right. yeah, it does. It yeah. Did. There was also the there was an ice that like decreased their hand size, but those never worked out. Right. I mean, it's no good in, in death by a thousand cuts because you don't do enough. Like, you, you, you're you not doing enough burst to stop them um, yeah, I mean, from drawing if you, if back you, up. If you limit them to two draws a turn and you do two net damage a turn, it's like, okay, thanks. Right. 
whatever. But in in a more bursty deck like this, then it really it really comes into play. So here. So we're moving right along, but yeah. I guess you just don't have the enough things installed to kill him. No, I do. I need credits. <laughs> There's three credits. I thought you said you only needed like. Now you got a lot of credits. Now I got three. No, no, I had one. I think this. Now I have uh, three. Okay. I just took two credits. It's hard to see. Yep. So he's running R and D to draw cards. So this is great, right? Oh, obelisk. because he draws cards with the obelisk. That's right. So. But it in entices him to run R and D. Yeah. So obelisk is great in so many ways, and one of those we is clicking to draw. Right. Now you can make runs on R and D so, and HQ, right. so you can. So that's click compression. So even without having to have a, a medium or the Hades shard or any of the combo stuff, Obelisk is just on its own. You run R and D and you did to draw cards. That's right. So actually, one of the wizard decks that runs Obelisk um, doesn't run Siphon, doesn't run Tag, mm. but it's still so good because you can pressure HQ. Like you put Temujin on HQ, bam, four credits. See a card and draw and a draw card. card. Mm. Oh, Cause it works on HQ or R and D. That's right. How much influence is Obelisk? I have no idea. See a card. Nothing. I have the I'm shuffling HQ because I have a future perfect in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to come get. Losing a future. Well, he yeah, he lost the game earlier, right? So yeah. now it's in your hand, and he knows it's there. Yeah. Losing losing the future perfect game is actually the most common way to lose. Right, because like you'll go to five if you lose one, and then it's game point. Right. Like he just hits a feed lay eye, it's over. Yeah. Or or he hits chairman hero in R and D. It's true. So. Oh, there's one chairman in the archives. How many chairmen are in the deck? Two. Two. Okay. There's two chairmans. Yeah. So it actually isn't that low agenda density once you figure hero in there. But I guess trashing hero right now costs a lot of credits. Uh-oh. It doesn't look good for him. Pop. <laughs> it could be bad news right yeah, there. Yeah, bad news. Bad news bears. You didn't res a hero, but how many cards? I needed three credits, right? How many cards does he have? Yeah, not enough. Oh, static. Uh, See static. Oh, turn the wizard Take off. Two. Yeah. No wizard for you. So, yeah, this is the difference. This is one of the differences between me and Kenny Zach. I actually only run one vanilla. Um, uh, that's the cut that I made. He has two vanillas. He's got two vanillas. But you have the cerebral statics. I have two cerebral statics. Whoa. He has two scarcities. Uh, why not do one of each? Why? Because cerebral <laughs> static is a dead card against some runners, right? Yeah. Um, I don't feel worried about anything other than wizard. Mm. And the only thing that I want against Wizard is C-Static. That's true. Like, turn one C-Static is really good. Um, helped me dodge things because it's two credits as well. Bring me lower. So you you actually, <laughs> the five credits is a liability. If you All could right. choose how many credits uh, you start the game with, okay. you might not choose five. So it looks he's going to archives with the Faust yep. to Seize flip all the cards shock. over. Yep. Yeah. So he flipped everything face up. Right. But the C to s the C static is so huge for me here, right? Because even though he flipped it all face up, he can't use his wizard credits. That's true. Oh, uh, he had worse. But he only drew two. But he took one shock. Does he got two cards in his hand? He's got two cards in oh, his hand. Oh, because he's got to remove that. That's yeah. right. He yeah, but to, he's still dead to the combo to remove, if I have it. He has to remove the bioethics. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, uh, so you, you didn't have the Ronin on the table. Right. You used the tech startup to get the Ronin. Yep. Cost no clicks. Yep. Dedication ceremony. Yep. And he only had two cards oh. in the Game over. <sighs> GG. Yeah, this card is so stupid. The all, second three, all, of, all of his I've had verses were limited. And yeah. the one time where two of them together only drew two cards. Yep. And that's a, that was disgusting. Oh, I think you're going to have you first. Me? 